The objective of this topic is to deposit a quality square groove weld in a butt joint in the horizontal position with complete penetration. On a blueprint, the symbol looks like this. On the arrow side, deposit a square groove weld in a butt joint with complete penetration. Use an E6011 electrode for the root and an E7018 for the cover. In addition to your protective clothing and tools, you'll need several 2 by 6 by 3 16 inch mild steel plates and 8 inch E6011 electrodes for the root and 3 32nd inch E7018 electrodes for the cover. Set up the constant current power source for electrode positive and set the amps to between 65 and 75 for the root pass and 80 to 90 for the cover pass. To make the workpiece, place a 3 32nd inch spacer between two plates and tack weld them together. Extend the tacks about a half inch so you'll have something to tie into when you weld the joint. Strong tacks also help to minimize distortion. Add a third plate and clamp the workpiece in the horizontal position about chest high. For the root pass with the E6011, the work angle is 90 degrees with a 5 to 10 degree drag travel angle. Start with a long arc to preheat the base metal, then shorten the arc as you move to the leading edge of the tack. Push the electrode into the joint to form a keyhole as you melt the leading edge of the tack. To get complete root penetration, the keyhole should be just large enough for the electrode to fit down into the joint. Read the puddle and travel at a speed that keeps the keyhole consistent. Use a slight whip and pause motion. Whip forward to the edge of the keyhole to dig, then back to fill. Cradle the stinger in your hand, don't hold it tight, and keep your wrist relaxed. Use your wrist for the back and forth motion. It gives you better control. Break the arc about halfway along the joint to practice your restarts. Chip the slag away from the crater and keyhole. To restart, strike an arc about a half inch behind the keyhole. Shorten the arc and push into the joint as you melt away the back edge of the keyhole and resume the whip and pause motion. The root should be flush to slightly convex with complete fusion into both tacks. The face of the weld should be concave with an even ripple pattern. For the three bead cover pass, increase the amps to between 80 and 90 and switch to 3 32nd inch E7018 electrodes. For the first weld, center the electrode on the bottom toe of the root pass with a work angle about 0 to 10 degrees above horizontal, with a 5 to 10 degree drag travel angle. Read the puddle and travel at a speed that produces a weld bead about two electrode diameters wide. The bottom toe of the weld should overlap the bottom edge of the joint by about a sixteenth of an inch. Use a slight W motion to keep the weld bead flat. Then chip the slag to prevent slag inclusions. For the second weld, center the electrode on the upper toe of the previous weld with a 90 degree work angle and the same 5 to 10 degree drag travel angle. Overlap the previous weld by about a third to a half. Cool the workpiece as necessary to keep it from overheating and producing undercut. For the third weld, center the electrode on the upper toe of the second bead with a work angle of 5 to 10 degrees below horizontal and the same 5 to 10 degree drag travel angle. The top toe of the third pass should eat into the top edge of the joint by about a sixteenth of an inch. The finished weld should be flush to slightly convex with a maximum reinforcement of 1 8 inch on the face side with complete fusion along the toes. Inspect your welds and continue practice.